Warning, this is not a new player template. It is, however, a lot of fun. Today, we're gonna talk about the Necro Archer Bard, which is basically just a modified version of Gong's Undead Bard King that we did a couple months ago. With the introduction of rank seven for pretty much all codexes now, it's really opened up a lot of diversity in the templates these days. One of the most exciting things about this template is the ability to pull summons with just 25 intelligence. So with that guys, sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. All right, you know how these template videos go, so let's jump straight into the template. Necromancy at 120. We're gonna go with 120 Necromancy for big hits with Pain Spike, stronger summons, and a higher rune pool for more Vampiric Embraces. I like to keep Blood Oath on Autocast to keep my pets doing maximum damage. This sat 100 works as well if you don't have the 40,000 gold or so per skill scroll to shell out, but obviously more is better. The trick to this is using Wither that reduces non-damaging spells mana cost, allowing you to summon an elemental at only 25 mana. Next, currently we're running Peacemaking at 100. Peacemaking helps bring that accuracy up for archery, as well as for our pets. It also helps to mitigate a lot of the damage being done to our pets. I've personally always preferred Peacemaking over Provocation, but I do believe Provo to be faster farming if utilized by someone who likes the Provo playstyle. Provo gives a raw damage buff, and you essentially can use other creatures to do the tanking for your pets. So once again, if you like that Provo playstyle, I'd suggest Provocation over Peacemaking. Discordance at 100. Discordance is arguably one of the most powerful skills in the game. It gives us sand our summons damage mitigation, as well as the enemy a debuff to their damage. It works even better if the creature already has a barding effect on them, and it also allows us to do more damage to that creature. In order to even cast the summon, we're gonna need 100 Majory. This is how we summon our elementals. It also allows us to greater hear ourselves or others, as well as multiple other utility abilities that Majory offers, like Create Food, which with the Wizard Grimoire gives mushrooms, or Lightning, which will do a hinder and a pretty darn strong lightning attack as well. All that's needed is 80 tactics and that corresponding weapon skill as well to get rank 7 in whatever weapon codex that it is that you're using. We went with 100 since the more damage done with the weapon equals more experience. Musicianship at 100 because, well, you need music to do the bard abilities. And then, like we were talking about, archery. Archery at 100. Honestly though, this template will work with any weapon skill. Archery works the best though in my opinion as you can stay out of range of the creature and shoot your enemy from afar. The hinders are nice too since they increase the damage dealt and mitigate damage while under the effect. It's a good idea, however, to have a macro set to re-equip your weapon after you cast a spell. Next up is going to be the Codex. The entire reason I decided to play this template again was for the rank 7 in the Codex. I'm going to go with Maiming to increase the duration of Maiming effects per rank, as each hinder feels like a mini command proc going off, especially with the effects of Blood Oath. For the Bard Codex, I went with one point in Refrain. This actually helps a lot if a monster does a barding break. Your damage does significantly more. If you're fighting higher difficulty monsters, more points in this might actually be a really good idea. Six points into perfect pitch as failing barding is always painful. The higher level your aspect or if you have effective barding links, you could potentially drop some points here. Six points into reverb to increase damage on my most recent target by 24%. You could arguably put these points into ensemble as well for 9% more damage than reverb. Six points in sing your own praises. Those bard buffs hit hard with this perk. Your final point in vocal range for that extra tile of distance. Now these points might change if you choose Provo over Peacemaking, and you may end up taking Revolution Song over perhaps Refrain, Vocal Range, or Reverb. For the aspect, depending on the level of the dungeon you're fighting in and the difficulty value of the creatures, it really gives you a lot of freedom on what aspect to use. Personally, I like Lyric Armor to increase barding chance, damage that I can do to barded creatures goes up as well, and also the bard buffs go up even stronger. I think fire though could be lots of fun, as well as air too. Water can be really nasty due to the high weapon proc chance giving you even more hinders. 
or command if you want your pets to do most of the damage. But again though, I really think this one is made specifically for Lyric. And for weapon, once again, anything works, but the number one will most definitely be command. This is almost always a no-brainer for the weapon when you have your pets. Killing your pets to full, then increasing damage done for 30 seconds. If a hinder goes off, blood oath is up, and a command proc, man, that monster melts like butter in a microwave. For the links, melee accuracy is always a must, especially at lower tier aspect. If you miss with your weapon, you're not doing damage. And for me, my main goal is to level the archery codex, so I need my crossbow to do as much damage as possible. I also really like melee aspect chance since command procs are just so juicy on this template. Melee special chance slash damage, especially if you're using archery, for more and more hinders. Currently on live, I do have a lot of follower damage links that I've carried over for my tamer that seem to be working well as well. Effective barding links are a great choice to help with bard song buffs and keep you from failing against creatures. As far as the pets go, I typically use one mummy, one lich, and one undead summon creature. If I'm in a group and there's somebody else that's definitely a good tank, then I'm going to pull out two liches and a summon creature, and they're going to just do massive DPS. This template has actually been a lot of fun, and honestly, quite the attention grabber. You don't really see that many Dexter necromancies out there. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you for liking this video. Also, be sure and check us out on the live streams at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on most evenings. Also, if you haven't already, guys, check out this playlist right here. It's all the nice little made for new player videos in one nice playlist so that you guys can share them to people when they start here on UO Outlands. I'll catch you next time. Home Star Gaming out.